Okay, um, my name is Paul Roberts and I'm with uh, HPI, Halo Paranormal Investigations, and this gentleman works here at the Lawler Art Gallery. And your name, sir? Bill and Bowden. Okay. Um, we just got an EVP and the entity said his name was George. Do you know of any George that ever lived in this house? No, I, I don't. Uh, there's a list somewhere of the people who owned it over the years. It was first built in the mid-1850s. So there could have been a George then? It could have been. Okay, for okay. all I know. Okay. Uh, it's, it's called the Waller House, but they were just the last owners of it. This is them here okay. with uh, their daughter, and this is the daughter about three years ago when she visited us. The house was going to be destroyed to make room for subdivisions east of town, two or three miles. Mm -hmm. And some of the local people wanted to save it, and they did. And it, eventually it was sawed in half and put on wheels and brought ac across the water oh, wow. behind us here and, and put here in uh, 1979. And it's been here ever since and called the Waller House. So there's a lot of history here. There is. Uh, I know a fellow who worked for the Wallers when they operated it as a ranch. Oh, really? And uh, he was he worked for them for about ten years. Uh, he said they, they they used it as a weekend summer kind of a place, and they used to throw big parties. And he said a good time was had by all. Mm -hmm. He also oh. said that twice he had to help paint it by hand with a paintbrush the outside. Of now, as old as this house is, it probably has lots of history. And with that history, has anyone ever passed away in this home? I can't answer that. Okay. I don't know it well enough. Okay. 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 And most likely, there was a lot of residents here. So. There was. Uh, it was owned by, over the years, uh, I'm trying to remember that little car the owners on it. There must have been, there was four to six different families that owned it for wow. periods of time. And lived there. Huh. It was more or less continuously used from the mid-1850s until they moved it. Well, so just before. It, it was abandoned by the contractor and it was being vandalized. So at the end, some of the local people moved out there with their RVs and camped next to it to keep people's vandals away from it. Well, and Deanna picked up a, a spirit activity in one particular part of the house and that's where we got an EVP that said George and possibly a George could have lived here visited here hung out here, who knows. There must have been hundreds of people that yeah. did those things. Yeah, right. And just for the record, we're not part of the art gallery. This is a separate Oh, I see. Oh, look, the nurse section of the. Yeah, this house. is this is about two Wow. Ontario, and that's about the rest of the house. Uh, Holy cow! Yeah. 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 This is amazing. There's a lot to look at here. Definitely give them the, our business card. There's so much to look at here. Are you picking up anything here? And I gotta ask you something. Last night, okay. You said Hypey, my dog, or, yeah, my dog, Corky, and then you. Okay, 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 okay. What happened? Well, last night it was a phone burn, and I was vacuuming, and then I went to go put the vacuum away in the garage, and all of a sudden I heard a dog crying at the garage door, like, like it was at the corner of the door, and I kind of knew it was a spirit. So I opened the door and put the vacuum in there, and I saw a little white dog to the left do like a little quick twirl. And then when I closed the door, it was crying at the door again, and our dog, Hypey, who's a mutant corgi because it's so big, he 
Oh, it does this thing <coughs> where on metal door stoppers that look like springs, he like dings them with his paw to like signal us to like open doors and stuff. Well, the stopper on the garage door, he was pushing it and like listening real good at the corner of the door because he could hear the dog spirit crying too. And then Paul, after he was in the shower, and then after I showed him, he goes, oh, look right here where I saw the dog. That's where he died. And I never knew that because this is the dog he had before me. Pika. But the interesting thing is that our dog was actually trying to communicate with the other dog by dinging the door knob stopper on the edge of the door. He was brave and intelligent trying to communicate with the dog dog. So I thought that was the cutest thing ever. Because there's lots of people, if they would have heard that, they would have went running. But our dog was right there. <laughs> <laughs> this happened last night. Yeah. Yeah, our, our dog, and she picked up on Pika, which is my uh, Jack Russell Terrier that died in the garage. He died of uh, colon cancer. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, so anyway, Hype picked up on him, and Deanna picked up on him. It was kind of cool. I was impressed. I, I thought, you know, I was the one just hearing it, but the dog is, has psychic powers. He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was so funny. Do you want to check out?